Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss what is pneumoperitoneum. So pneumo means air and peritoneum means peritoneal cavity. So in pneumoperitoneum what will happen? Air will collect within the peritoneal cavity. And where will this air come from? Air will come from air will come from rupture of the bubble loops. Okay? When there will be a perforation with, within the bubble loops, perforation within the bubble loops either due to obstruction or due to any cause perforation within the bubble loops will result in collection of air within the peritoneal cavity okay so when you will do an x-ray for this patient as you might be knowing that air is radiolucent air is radiolucent and if you are doing a standing standing x-ray an erect x-ray of this patient okay air will collect in the non-dependent part of the lung air will collect in the non-dependent part of the lung sorry non-dependent part of the peritoneal cavity that is your that is your diaphragm so guys if you can see in a normal x-ray just below the right lobe of diaphragm you will only see the liver but here in this case we can see that below the right lobe of diaphragm there is a radiolucency radiolucency so this is collection of so this is how we report a chest chest uh, and uh, abdominal x-ray in case of an abdomen, abdominal x-ray in case of pneumoperitoneum so we say that there is collection of free gas free gas under a right lobe of right dome of diaphragm there is collection of free gas under right dome of diaphragm so this is what you what you are going to see in a patient with pneumoperitoneum so there are few important signs as well so guys normally what happens in an abdominal x-ray okay you are just going to find few bubble loops okay few radiolucencies you are going to find but you are not you will not be able to demarcate any structures within the within the abdominal x-ray okay you will just see few uh, foci of uh, radiolucency that is due to the presence of air within the bowel loops so guys when there is air within the peritoneal cavity you know all the structures of the abdomen you know they start to we can start to visualize their borders we can start to visualize their borders so guys what happens what is happening in this case in this case there is collection of air in the peritoneal cavity and because of which you know this is giving one sign that is known as football sign football sign excessive distension of the peritoneal cavity and also guys if you just look at this x-ray what you can see you can also see the margins of the liver margins of the liver liver margins are usually not appreciated on an abdominal x-ray but in case in this case you can see that the margins of the liver they can be appreciated just have a look at this bubble wall bubble wall okay normally in an abdominal x-ray you will not be able to appreciate a bubble wall but here you can see that bubble wall can be seen okay because you know if this is bubble wall and this is bubble wall this is intraluminal air and there is extraluminal air okay so there is contrast between both the outer uh, between the extraluminal component as well as the intraluminal component yahan pe hamare paas contrast aa gaya andar bhi air aa gayi bahar bhi air aa gayi so normally what what was happening there was soft tissue structures okay there was soft tissue density around the bubble loop in a normal x ray नॉर्मल एक्सरे में कह रहा है यहाँ पे सॉफ्ट टिश्यू डेंसिटी थी इसलिए हमें वी वी वर नॉट एबल टू अप्रिशिएट द आउटर वॉल आउटर वॉल ठीक है एंड व्हेन देयर इज कलेक्शन ऑफ एयर अराउंड द अराउंड द बोथ द इंटरलुमिनल एज वेल एज एक्सट्रालुमिनल एयर इज देयर वी कैन अप्रिशिएट द वॉल्स ऑफ द वॉल्स ऑफ द बाबल लूप्स एंड गाइस दिस साइन इज नोन एज दिस साइन इज नोन एज रेगुलर साइन रेगुलर साइन राइट नाउ गाइस इफ few other important signs that we should know if there is collection of free gas if there is collection of uh, air accumulation beneath the central tendon of diaphragm air accumulation beneath the central tendon of diaphragm this is known as one sign that is your cupola sign this is known as cupola sign and if there is if there is radiolucency along if there is radiolucency along the falciform ligament so normally what what happens falciform ligament is never visualized falciform ligament is never visualized so the same concept will apply everywhere because air is collected air is seen around both the right and the left part of the falciform ligament okay so this falciform ligament gets outlined 
and we can see this falciform ligament separately and this is known as this is known as falciform ligament sign this is known as falciform ligament sign right moving on to the next x-ray moving on to the next x-ray the liver edges can be appreciated this is known as liver edge sign when the walls okay walls bowel walls are outlined by the intraluminal and extraluminal air both sides of the wall can be seen both sides of the wall can be seen this is what we call as this is what we call as a regular sign a regular sign so there is something called a regular striat as well you will let me know in the comment section what is regular striat and when there is collection of air in the morrison's pouch morrison's pouch okay this is known as this is known as dodge's cap sign dodge's cap sign so another important x-ray sometimes what will happen your descending colon it will come between the liver and the diaphragm when the descending colon will come between the liver and, and diaphragm it is known as it is known as pseudo pseudonemoperitoneum because it will appear that there is free gas under the right dome of diaphragm this is nothing this is but the pseudo pseudonemoperitoneum pseudo pseudonemoperitoneum also known as chiladiti syndrome chiladiti syndrome so guys if you are interested in learning more of radiology okay in complete radiology want to revise everything in radiology in just five hours so join me today at 6 pm on the unacademy learning app on the unacademy learning app where guys i will be trying to complete the entire radiology all the important images with you in just five hours so guys you can download the unacademy learning app you can go to the neat pg section and you can search my name himanshu gupta you can search my name himanshu gupta where you will you where you can go to the free courses and uh, uh, you go to the free courses and join my lecture for free so till then guys bye bye take care and also try to identify the spotters that i have shown you in the previous video